everybody. Welcome to the show. Hi. We're here live from the Albatross Theater. It's a, it's a screen what says PAX on it. Hi, I'm Jeff Gerstmann. We're here uh, to talk to you. Or talk to, actually, we're going to talk amongst ourselves. We're going to talk at you, I think, is how it usually works. Dan Reichert is here. Hello. Hi. Were you, were you consciously doing the Aretha Franklin? Aretha Franklin. <laughs> is that what you were doing on purpose? No, never on purpose. Okay, all right. Yeah, just right. like the man himself, never on purpose. All right, tis yeah. the season. Yeah, uh, definitely, yes. yes. Uh, Alex Navarro. Hello. Hi. Uh, Hi. What is it the season for in your neck of the woods? Uh, Anti-Italian racism. Okay. <laughs> That's a that's a twelve month season. I yeah, understand it year round. So, good, good. We Abby have video Russell evidence. Is, to Abby Russell's here, making it happen down there. So, wow, uh, it's been a full year since we've been in Boston, and so much has happened since then. Um, we became anime experts. All of us, all yeah, of us, all of us, all yeah. of us. Uh, yeah, we. It's uh, yeah. Not, not all of us. We didn't tell the people, but like everyone, the whole team was watching along with us. We were the only ones on the oh, podcast. Oh, definitely. Yeah, though, no, yeah. they were providing notes, and then yeah. we would just kind of just no. just yeah. convey their notes. To no, them. I didn't watch most of the episodes, honestly. Alex, who is your favorite Dragon Ball? Uh, I don't know, Cell. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's actually that was a pretty good yeah, answer. That's, that's Wait, not, do you know Dragon Ball? No. How did you know that? I don't know. I play that fighting game. All right. Okay. All so right. that thing—he shoots like beams and stuff, right? That's everyone in Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah, but he does it. Yeah. Except for Chiao Tzu, I don't think Chiao Tzu shoots beams. Chiao Tzu grabs people and explodes. Yeah, no beams though. No, he's like a tiny juggalo. <laughs> yes. He just wants to grab a hold of people and ex <laughs> and blow the fuck up. Uh, cave in Rock, Illinois. <laughs> what? I don't know. He wants to go on the hayride. <laughs> That's the fan art I want to see, is Chow Tzu with the gathering of Juggalos with Yamcha and full fucking, fully painted up. Alex, if you had to get super into Dragon Ball or ICP, which would you choose? I think he already did choose. Yeah, I chose that a long time ago. <laughs> really? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> if you had to run with the hatchet or run with a, senzu, a bag of senzu beans. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. There's a cat. It's a cat that sells drugs. And okay, well, no, now you're actually making a convincing yeah. case here. Okay. <laughs> no, Dragon what Ball kind of drugs? <laughs> All right, uh, they make you super strong, and you can heal from anything. Yeah, we'll so PCP. Yes. And the guy, the guy <laughs> yeah. who shows up with them a lot of the time is just this fiend. Just He just is an ass fiend. I, I think you oversell that. He's an ass eater. I think there was one scene that you thought it was funny because it looked like he was eating an ass. All those and Nicki Minaj brought it up forever. are about him. Look, man, it's 2019. We're all eating ass out exactly. here. Like, it's, there's no judgment. If you want to take a big old hunk out of someone's ass, go for it, as long as it's consensual. That's the giant bomb motto. Yep. <laughs> so did you, you, did you not become an anime expert? Is that what I'm... No. Okay, why? Well, I, I feel like... We needed some kind of quorum. Like, we were told that legally, by PAX Law, uh, that we needed to have at least three anime experts on a panel. I mean, PAX Law is no joke. I mean, Aaron Trites got arrested for murder that one time. Uh, yeah. Like, those, those enforcers, they don't fuck around. Okay, well, before they come up here and cart you off... Uh, I mean, they're welcome to. I'm, I'm right here. Just please, I've got a, I've take got, me away a, before this turns into an anime fucking panel. I don't want any part of we've this. We've got a bonus <laughs> anime expert. Austin Walker is here. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. So, senzu beans or the hatchet? What do you, I mean. <laughs> senzu beans. Okay. Yeah. You need some? Does the hatchet give you powers? I don't think the hatchet, like, I don't know ICP lore. It gives the you the power of using a hatchet. Well, no, no, no. We found out it gave you the power of Christ. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So, oh, yeah. Chop, it was a, it, chopping off the nuggets of racists? Chopping, off, chopping them off at they nuggets. Like, racists like uh, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. This makes a yeah. lot more sense. So uh, actually, I guess I can't run with the hatchet. I guess I do more. have to get into anime. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Are you the a most racist? racist? I guess you have to be into anime. 
Jeff, I think we opened a real Pandora's box with that podcast because we did really enjoy watching Dragon Ball, and it's very fun to talk about. Yeah. But I think we we were talking just at dinner before this that we've both separately realized that now we're constantly getting people giving us anime recommendations. That started immediately. Yes. <laughs> and actually, I saw the guy come in. He has a hat that says hentai. He's, uh, yep, he just held the hat up. A nice fella from Kansas City. Uh, and that, that's the thing that when people approach me on the PAX show floor is a lot of just like, all hentai. right, I got an anime for you. Yep. What was it Love and War or something? War and Peace? There's some anime about War and Peace, the anime. Leo Tolstoy, the originator of anime. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I appreciate the recommendations, uh, but boy, there's there's a lot of them that come in, and there's only so much time. And Dan, the thing I think maybe you don't realize is that it's not just happening to you. Are you getting the anime? Rest, yes, I have gotten <laughs> anime recommendations, despite the fact that I have not participated in any of this. Oh. Alex, oh. have you seen My Hero Academia? No. <laughs> it's great. I Sure. It's really good. Yeah. This is wild to me. <laughs> we worked at the same company. Yeah. Why didn't this happen then? <laughs> We never got to work together uh, I know, frequently. You're right. it's, I uh, feel like you could have taught me a lot of things. Do you want Austin. anything to drink? Are you good? What's that? Or do you want it for, for you to drink? Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Good. Yes. Thank you. you know, at yeah. some point, it's like it's a it's it's a retention thing. We realized mm. we were gonna lose more people if we didn't just kind of all warm up to anime. Uh, you leaving was a real eye opener. I appreciate it. You know what? Yeah. That means a lot. If, if during my exit interview you said, you know what, stay and become the anime editor. Maybe things would have been different. My, my understanding is that Austin is a robot anime fan. That is true. Okay. <laughs> Someone today was, I was, uh, two of us went to the same uh, booth. We were seeing a game called Phantom Brigade, which is a mech game that looks really good. Uh, and it was an enforcer. Shout outs to that enforcer who I think is in this room. Uh, and we were both in line. And, and the, the person running the booth said, oh, are you waiting in the line to the guy? And he says, no. And besides, that is Austin Walker. He gets to see the robots first. <laughs> And I was very, like, oh, very nice. You made it. I did, finally. It all paid off. I, I, I don't want to, you know, that's if, if Waypoint gets into merchandise, uh -huh. I might recommend a shirt that says Austin Walker. He gets to see the robots first. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what we can do. Yeah. Um, so, wait, are you considering robots? Always, every day. <laughs> we have to now. Yeah, you have It's to. the only way to survive. Yeah. Did you see, like, the Roomba is just where it starts, man. The Ibo is like a gateway. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this Did you fucking see that robot die? Did you all see the robot die? Yeah. Oh, Wh there was wait, so what? <laughs> Which one? I don't remember its name. <laughs> we weren't that close. The oh, so you're a robot racist. <laughs> no, I'm a robot misanthrope. Okay. Uh there was a robot that was, I don't know what type of robot it was. It was like an older consumer model robot. And the company that makes it was like, <laughs> no. We're not gonna make any money with this. Yeah. And so they decided to shut it down. And they didn't just shut it down, they sent a thing that made it say out loud, like, just so you know, I'm getting shut down today. M maybe in the future, people will be able to figure out better robots, but I wonder if they'll be able to do this. And then it did a dance and shut itself off. <laughs> yeah. Near Automata 2017. Oh, jeez. That, that is grim. <laughs> yeah. Was it like a somber dance? No, it was like very joyous. Oh, God. <laughs> it's very happy. It was like, finally, sweet release of Freedom. death. <laughs> Serving the human race. I deserve better. Austin, am I going to like, because I've already decided I'm going to try this. Yeah. Uh, the Neon Genesis Evangelion. Oh. Okay, all right. All right. Hang on. It's coming to Netflix, and yeah. I'm going to give it a shot. All right, I got Is one. It, you wanna, are they are the robots alive? Or are there people in the robots? I've got one question for you, based on me. This is the one thing I know about that anime, or I okay. think I know. I know nothing. Oh, As no. an expert, this is the one thing I've gleaned from years well, was, of. Everyone in my website, cover your ears. No spoilers for them. Cover, mm -hmm. You can say it. Do you like watching stuff about people who want to fuck their moms? <laughs> <laughs> it's more. It's more. Subtle. Wait, there is nuance. Oh, does you Patrick sit down, Patrick Klepek. Oh, does Patrick have to watch it? <laughs> Pat. Wait, do the robots have sex with their moms? No. No, the robots. Are you right? Is he right about that? Robots First of all, have the robots sex with their moms. What? Is the robots don't even have moms. Uh, it's. Mm. Did you make that up, or is that a real thing you heard? I, that's that's my understanding of what that whole thing it's, is really about. I no, just know mm. robots. Am I right or wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I am retaining my right to plead the fifth. <laughs> it's more complicated. Terminology, mm. Patrick, I'm scared with you. 
You should be scared, Dan. Okay. Because it is, you shouldn't be scared. Fuck it. Watch Ava. Enjoy it. Ava but is what, what you should really watch is Votoms. What's you, that? You had said Votoms before. Y'all should fucking watch some Votoms. Someone back there really Votoms. likes Votoms. <laughs> oh, it's Votoms. It's not Votoms. Okay. I like saying Votoms. Votoms came out right after Gundam did, like a year or two afterwards. And it was like, what if this was just a show about fucking people up? Uh, there is a video. I will send it to you, Dan. It is like 32 minutes long, and it is a kill count video. Oh. Everyone that Kiriko Kuve, which is a great name, everyone he kills both inside and outside of a giant robot. I watched those for Rambo. It's literally what if Rambo had a mech. That okay. is literally that All right. show. All right. Sounds great. Well, Rambo 5 is coming. I mean, uh -huh. Is that confirmed? I saw someone tweet about that, but I didn't know if it was a joke. I, I, my understanding is that it's happening. Okay, because Rambo 4 was a perfect film. I never saw it. it Have you seen the 2008 Rambo? It's incredible. The last he, 30 minutes are perfect. He's already no. forgotten about the anime. Thank it's God. Just, it's Honestly, Commando. It's a new Commando. Yeah. But he doesn't move. He just stands there with a turret. Yeah. I don't need a new... They already made a new Commando, and it was called The Marine. I haven't seen The Marine. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen the Marine. That is actually genuinely shocking. I'll tell you. You okay. went to film school. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm trying to think. The only WWE films I've seen. I saw the Scooby Doo one. Uh huh. I haven't seen any of John Cena's. I think there's a Dean Ambrose one. Yeah, there's the, that's the. It's one of the 12 rounds. Film right. Season there's one the those. Kane one. Uh huh. I haven't seen any. I haven't seen the Marine or any of those. There's like 19 Marines. I haven't seen any of them. I, I saw like 12 shots and Fast Four back to back in the same theater, which was a great pairing. <laughs> Wait, have you seen The Condemned? No. <sighs> Isn't that just Battle Royale with yes, Stone Cold Steve Austin? Yes, it is! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying that like that's not a thing you would want? I should probably watch that. <laughs> is there, wait, wait, is it rated R? Mm, I believe so. I know it's got that soccer guy from that Snatch guy, in it. Yeah. yeah, okay. And he's a bad guy. Okay. Weird, and Stone Cold's just running around killing people yeah, on an island? Well, I mean, yeah, it's, you know, it's a little more complicated than that. But yes, it, you know, they all get roped <laughs> into some TV show. Wait, it's like a Running Man thing. Yes! Fuck! It's like Battle Royale. <laughs> <laughs> have, have you seen the movie Battle Royale? Uh, yes, it about? was good. Yes. yes. I did just watch Gamer, which is the Running Man <laughs> meets, have you got the Gerard Butler film, Gamer? Yes. That movie's all right. It's amazing. I'm, I didn't know it was the Crank guys that made it. Yeah. And like 10 minutes in, I was like, why is this reminding me of Crank? <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it's super Crank. But with video games. Oh, with video games. Super crank. Yeah. Super crank. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now, it, man. It's really good. Don't release I, this I video. Like I, I Let's make super crank. Yeah. <laughs> John Leguizamo is in it, and Ludacris is a hacker. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ludacris runs a hacker group called Humans with a Z. <laughs> uh huh. John Leguizamo dies on a flaming motocross court. Man. It's really. It's on Hulu. You should watch it. All right. It's really good. All right. Wait, is Ludacris been typecast as a hacker now? <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know. I mean, I, look, he's great in the Fast and Furious I movies, but that, like... It's chicken, his, beer, bash prompts. Right. That, Those are the, that right. was his insistence, yeah. right? Didn't he say he would do it, but only if he got to be real smart? <laughs> I'm dead I, serious. I mean, good I, for I, him. I, I, I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, good agent. I have to ask this. I feel like I ask you this privately, uh, or some form of, uh, some combination of the three of you, mostly Alex. Didn't you see that, uh, was it hard, Hardcore Henry, Hardcore Harry? No, the first person thing. Yeah, the first person you thing. You saw it in the theaters, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> what? I had some time to kill in Central California. <laughs> this one does. Waiting for the meth to burn. <laughs> yeah, I, I was getting the super crank. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, How was it? It was the end. The final boss of that movie is like great king sentence. Of, is, <laughs> is the King of Fighters character basically? Does <laughs> Hardcore like, Henry talk? No. So he just shoots people. He's just fucking shit up, and it's just first person parkour and punching and kicking the whole time, and then he fights some magnetic levitating man at the end. And Sounds like Metal Gear. Yeah, and he's like putting himself back together. So I, I have not watched it since I saw it in theaters. The whole thing is kind of a blur. Have you seen the Doom movie? Yeah, yeah, but it's been a really. Are we just gonna start listing off movies we've seen now? Is no, that yeah, the rest of fun. this panel? Yeah. Did you see? There's the first person part. Doom's an R. Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, I've not seen that. All right, now we're talking. <laughs> Is that a first person <laughs> movie? Yeah. For all your Pride and Prejudice <laughs> needs, go to waypoint.zone. <laughs> not a joke. <laughs> all right, what the, they let me do whatever I want over there. <laughs> One day someone's gonna pay attention and go, wait, what? What? Dude, what? You're gonna get there was some okay, so they're showing off some new UI for the websites. Mm -hmm. And there's like, oh, this is gonna be like what the music site looks like, this is what the gaming site looks like. And they brought up the gaming site, and it straight up was like two video game things, absolutely, but the other ones were like a Pride and Prejudice podcast, 
a thing about political centrism and some and, and giant robots. Absolutely giant robots. Like, yeah. no one cares. You know, video. I care. Trick capitalists into letting you make cool shit. <laughs> do people click on the? Yes. Could you do top ten political centrists? Can we get an image gallery out of that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you could, but I, I won't. Not, not unless you pay me. I got good news for you. They're paying you. Oh, okay. Well, then. We're not. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so that's uh, the, the, anime. the anime recommendations. I think we said within, like, the first couple of weeks of starting that podcast were just out of control, like, you know, in a, just like, man, don't do this. Please stop. Oh, God. It's all very well-meaning. In the, in the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're very nice people, but yeah. uh, people that like anime really like anime. Yeah. It's yeah. weird. Yeah. Like, I like Dragon Ball a lot. Yes. That was fun. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. They made more of it, uh, and, and maybe I'll watch that someday. But I've heard they made more. But which more of it are you planning on watching? Because there's a lot of more of it. Yeah. I We're all very curious. I've heard GT is the popular one. Yeah. As the uh, third yeah. anime expert, I'm okay. here to co-sign right. GT. Okay. Uh, lots of apes. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's you sold. You yeah. Kinda, that's all I needed. It's yeah. like between that and Vegeta with a mustache. I'm like, all right. That's it's, that's that's kind of like increasingly locking in as the thing I want to see next. Also, like Goku's a little, so like that's pretty exciting. Oh, that's hot. All right. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. We I have nothing to announce about any further anime coverage. Nope. On Giant Bomb. Take an anime break. We just wanted to make Dan say Neon Genesis Evangelion. That was it. That was the whole bit. Yeah, no, that was the this the that was the uh, long game. I, my my hope with Evangelion is that it's a uh, it's Evangelion, right? Like, is that is that it? I don't know. It, okay. I know it's supposed to be all like philosophical and stuff, and Metal Gear is all philosophical and has robots, and Metal uh -huh. Gear is literally my favorite piece of entertainment ever. Yes. So I'll probably like Evangelion. Yeah. I mean, how much yeah. how much mom fucking is in Metal Gear? I forget. Uh, Otakon, actually, Otakon. Yeah. I think Otakon might have fucked a stepmom or something. Right? Didn't that happen? Oh, well, that's just, I mean, that's just Man, normal. And then he grew up and loved anime. Oh, he did. <laughs> Think about it. He did. He had a poster of a robot anime on his uh, lab wall. It's one of his robot animes. It is. I know that now. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I've always liked anime. I just never admitted it. I get it. <laughs> Wow, the veil dropped. I know. <laughs> this is how much they piss you off. Anime fans really are. Even wrestling's anime. Everything's <laughs> anime. I get it. For the first time, because <laughs> anime fans. Like, video games have been anime. Like, I liked Zillion for the Sega Master System and had no idea what it was. Turns out it was an anime. Yeah. And now I keep telling myself, like, I need to watch that shit, because they have the Sega Master System light gun is the gun they use in the show. Mm. So it's like you could play Safari Hunt <laughs> or ride a motorcycle and shoot stuff. I, I don't know. I, I've not seen the show. I like Zone of the Enders. That has robots. Zone that's of the Enders pretty is anime. anime, right? Yes. All right. Do you actually like Zone of the Enders? Okay, that's it's pretty, pretty good. I, but does I, anyone actually really truly like Zone of the Enders? Okay. Yeah. No. I want to hear. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let may. me clarify. Mm. Let me clarify. For a thing that you bought to get a demo disc, it's better than you would have expected. Okay. There you go. Just well, a rousing endorsement. <laughs> I bought the similar, second one. Jim. I have a similar answer, which is when I was 13, I liked Zone of the Enders enough to create a Zone of the Enders original character and role play them online with hundreds of other people. <laughs> Very similar levels of enjoyment. In a, is it, okay, is this in a chat room? Is this in a. It's a muck. Okay. So. Okay. You know, like a mud, but uh -huh. like a little more serious. Oh, yeah. A little no, more I, thoughtful. Yeah, it's mud Very me. It's like, it's like mush, yep. mud. M muck. muck. Alex, do you know what they're saying? No. Okay. <laughs> well, a multi-user dungeon oh. is... Uh, We're not doing this. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> Wait, but have you been tempted to see other... Wait, I've been to a multi-user dungeon. <laughs> you know oh, what, you, Alex? Okay. I'm going to be it, honest. It's exactly like the power exchange, but... They don't know what that is, Jeff. <laughs> you know what? Stay, stay I mean, that way. you know what that is, but you don't know what that is. You don't need to know what that is. Uh, it's like that, but it's more close. I don't know. Yeah, no. It's, no. No, it's not quite like. I, I think it is like that. I think it's, yeah. I was on those mucks. It's okay. very much like uh, okay. that. Oh, okay. Do you, have you, so I know you've watched uh, My Hero Academia. Have you yes. watched other anime in the time since? Uh, Did you watch that camp thing where everyone just hangs yes. out and has yeah, a good time? Yeah, yeah, I watched Laid Back Camp. Oh, yeah. That's great. Yeah, it was fantastic. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> fuck yeah. Uh, was was that Pat? Him. Oh, that was Pat. <laughs> fucking A. We're going fucking camping. <laughs> We're going to learn how to have friends. <laughs> yeah. Get over our hurdles. Uh, I, they, it made me, like, want to go back to Japan. It made me want to see more of the, like, the non-just city of Japan and actually get out and do some stuff. Because it was, like, the, the way they portray what I assume is a realistic view of, like, Japanese camping is not how it is here. It's like, all right, we're going to drive our RV to this spot and park it and maybe set up a tent or whatever. But it's like, you've got your lot and you got this, but there's just too, there's too many other people. Yeah. Every time I've ever been camping, it's just been like, there are just too many other people. And that idea of just like, I'm going to go somewhere and I'm going to just sit here and read this fucking book. That's all she ever wanted to do. Ride her motorcycle out there and read, just read some fucking book and then make some food. And I'm like, That's, those are things I can identify with. I don't have time to read books. I don't have time to make food. This is great. Um, I ordered a, a fig, I think it's a Nendoroid. <laughs> I am so happy. Oh, man. My whole heart is just, I'm beaming. Oh, man. It was like, man. There was a limited edition. It's not, I don't have it yet, because I had to go to Crunchyroll and place a pre-order <laughs> for something that's not going to be out until May. And this was, like, late last year. I'm like, well, I got to get one of these. <laughs> Wait, Goku hoodies are on sale. <laughs> So I fucked up. I actually, that was the that was the fucking that was gonna be my gift to you. Was I was gonna come out here wearing my Goku hoodie and and baseball hat, uh, the baseball hat someone sent in in a mailbag. But I bought that hoodie on clearance from Crunchyroll. <laughs> I was like, no, oh, Goku hoodie is so cheap, and I'm well, I'm already ordering this Nendoroid. Do you remember uh, walking around the Anime Con show floor desperately trying to find full Goku and Vegeta outfits, and we couldn't find any at Anime Con? Oh, it was the best, man. If you want to, like, <laughs> fucking start creating tier lists of, like, which fans are going to look up and down on you and all that other stuff, go to an anime convention and ask them, like, y'all got that Vegeta? <laughs> <laughs> uh. They're just like, like just the sneer. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Was that Vegeta telling you no just now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anime elitist Vegeta? Yeah. Anime elitist Vegeta. Vegeta, haven't heard that name in years. <laughs> you probably you watch dubs, you piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> this website has drifted so far from the light. We are entering a realm of darkness that I do not know we will ever emerge from. Uh, Alex, do you want to talk about wrestling? It started with wrestling. I mean, I'm not saying that it wasn't its own kind of darkness. <laughs> Maybe arguably a worse darkness. It's kind of good now. Y yeah, it's... Yeah, Once yeah. again, rousing endorsement no, on Dan Riker. No. <laughs> Look, I think wrestling's always good, <laughs> but I think it's especially good now. All right. I think we got an exciting uh, next Sunday coming up. Yeah, it's WrestleMania season. Yes, the 35th. Yeah. I'm going to be there. Okay. Yeah. How many have you been to in a row? This is my sixth. What the fuck are you doing, oh. man? Honest answer, when I was 10 years old, I was like, that's what I want to do more than anything, is attend one of these things. And once I got old enough and I had the means to, to go to these things, I'm going to do it every single year. My dream, I've never, I've never regretted it, as a child, <laughs> was event <laughs> attendance. That is what I wanted for my future, to go to a place where something was happening. <laughs> I'm going to spend so many thousands of dollars on a travel package, it's going to be great. He gets a chair. He gets to bring home the chair, okay? You get How many chair. times have you actually brought home the chair? Uh, every time. The last time I tried to bring it on the plane and it got super dinged up because I didn't even like tape it up. I just threw it on like the, the conveyor thing. It was like, <laughs> that's my luggage. And then it showed up and it was all banged up. And like everyone else at the airport, they put like foam and tape around it and everything. And then I got my chair. It came out of the thing and went around and it was all fucked up. <laughs> yeah. My sincere yeah. hope is that the, the baggage people were just hitting each other yeah. in the yeah. back yeah. with yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how it got that way. Yeah. I, I feel like my wife is much saner than me because it was her first WrestleMania last year. It was our honeymoon, WrestleMania. Uh -huh. Yeah, naturally. So, <laughs> I want to say, just for the record, Dan's wife is cool with this. This yeah. is not like a, he is dragging her into this. Oh, like, no, like, no. Bianca is cool. She's cool as hell. But she is smarter than me. So as we left, and you, every time you leave WrestleMania, you have to carry this big-ass chair around. Yeah. And there's always some dope in the parking lot that's like, I'll give you 100 bucks for that. And I am always like, no, I need to send this on an airplane. And Bianca was like, fuck yeah, just like, gave it away right away. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That makes, I think she's tired of uh, now that there are six chairs in you the house. You don't need two of the same one. <laughs> No, they're all different. They're all like the, the card of that WrestleMania. And the theme, the Orlando one had a sun. No, no, no. The Texas I mean, had a bowl. I mean, you had two of them because she would have had one and you would have had one, right? Right. I kept mine. That was the one that got yeah, fucked and up. Yeah, she sold hers. Yeah. 
So yeah. So, so you know, you can still complete the set. What I'm saying is, yeah. you don't need two of the same chair. Yeah, but why not? <laughs> Do you? Are you gonna like at some point in your life get like a dining room table and put all of these chairs around Honestly, it? Honestly, will that dining room table look a little bit like a wrestling ring? Right. Well, like I. A, a I'm not kidding piece. at all. Yes, that was my intention. I want we, to be able to have a full like eight chair set around a table. That's a bad. That's a bad. It's a bad way to go. I very much want the centerpiece to be one of those, like, the rings, like the, the toy action figure rings. Yeah, yeah. It's like Titan Tron, when you put yes. the figure through it, it plays the music. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thankful for this year? <laughs> we're listening to the Ass Man theme Ruth song. Uh, <laughs> aggression. That's what I'm thankful for this Thanksgiving. Um, Survivor Series, naturally. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. That's It's so many hours of wrestling and... So yeah, my my wife has has popped by to watch a little bit of wrestling here and there. I think in in just like a, what are you doing here for this many hours straight? And I'm like, I gotta watch this thing. We I'm might watching. I'm, wa I'm watching my videotapes. We got it. We might do a podcast. I gotta watch this thing. Has she seen recent Batista? No. It's great. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I yeah. Maybe I'll sh show her some of that. It's really good. It's, so far, it's like she'll walk and watch. And goes. This is really stupid. And I, and I can't like I watch and go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like it, but yeah. Um, and that's totally fine. <laughs> I don't need her to be into it. Like, like I'm not going like, to like, no, you, we're going to sell you. Like, no, just if I showed you this, it would be like, what's, I just got to try to get, like, this is who I am as a person. And I need you to be a part of this. <laughs> Otherwise, my life isn't. No. It's like, Has she seen Beyond the Mat? That's a great entry point. No, but I, I, I do want to watch that again. So it's that's, you know, timeless. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's just it's the day. It's very sad. Yeah, to really make her want to watch wrestling. <laughs> Documentary about how miserable wrestling is. There are positive things, right? The, the puking parts? Yeah, the puking parts are great, Dan. It's, it's a fun part. It's not a, I don't know. I don't know if that's necessarily what I would call. People are laughing. Oh, Vince is laughing. Vince is laughing. <laughs> yeah. At someone's pain, literally. <laughs> yeah. Man, you idolized. <laughs> well, I mean, that's. Pretty on brand, I think. Yeah, yeah that, actually. That whole thing when it comes down to it. Yeah, no, Dan is definitely into laughing at people's pain. The thing I actually want to uh, watch at some point is Tiger Mask W. Is that an is that that's wrestling anime, that's right? That's wrestling anime. Okay, here yeah. this is the final right? Thing. Yeah, that's yeah. the final like if when they form like Voltron, Tiger Mask W, he the head. So what's the story, do you know? Uh, this is wrestling. It's oh. it's Tiger Mask. Yeah, it's Tiger Mask. This man in a, a tiger mask. That was like one of the Wrestle Kingdoms. Didn't they have like tiger mask wrestle a different Yes, tiger Kota mask? Ibushi under a tiger mask uh, was wrestling a dark tiger. Yeah. That's fun. That's, That's it. Fun. That was the whole yeah. bit. That they just like worked in like, ah, this is this anime, but we're just going to do it in the middle of the show. Yeah, no, these, these live people are just going to be anime for you. So it was an anime that became wrestling, not wrestling people that they based an anime on? It's both. Well, yes. I think like some of the New Japan... Wrestlers are in Tiger Mask W. In, oh, okay. In some form, so cool. There's, there's that aspect of it. I always thought that would be fun to see. But then, like, I'm drawn to like the sickness of like all the licensed anime. Like, I'm a Fantasy Star Online fan. What about Fantasy Star Online? The animation. I watched like t an episode and a half of that, and it's fucking dog shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. Were you into like more. the story of Fantasy Star when you were playing it? Yeah, but this isn't about that. It's about I'm a kid playing a video game at school, and that video game is Fantasy Star Online, and I'm joining a guild, and yay! Wait, the anime is about the kid playing the game? Yeah. It's not about the lore of the game. It's, like, the... it's like Video Power, the acclaim show that had what? the guy from Narc and the wait, dude what, from... what, what? And Quirk. It was, it was like the two. It was like two seasons. One was like a game show, but there was one season that was just like here are characters from games that acclaim has put out. The narc guy? Wait, the blue guy Max or the red guy? Force, uh, uh, Max Force, I think, is the blue. Okay. The blue guy. What's the other guy's name? You Max can Force. tell the difference between the narc guys besides <laughs> red and blue? No, it's like Contra, where they technically have names, but they never really, like, oh, it's Lance and Bill, of course. But uh, Oh, yeah, Arnold or Stallone. God damn it, man. You're going to get him sued. <laughs> how many of the Contra hardcore characters can you name? Dog face Brownie? guy. Dog guy. <laughs> The Big robot. Brownie, yeah, Brownie. Yeah, I knew the robots. I'm, I'm trying to think. Who's is the dude? Is Bill in it but not Lance because Lance is the bad guy? Is that what I it is? I think they're all new. Uh, who's the robot? Brownie was the robot. The Brownie wolf the was... Robot. Wolf man. Man, we played the hell out of that. I can't remember any of that. Good. That's a well, because you only you did it in one run. That's why. That, that is true, yeah. It was short. Yeah, I mean, if you play a game like once for one day, it's yeah. true, yeah. It's not going to really stick with you. Did you know Altered Beast sucks now? Uh, I could have told you that Altered Beast sucked then. 
I liked it a lot back then. Did you, you know play the arcade, it now? It's bad. Did you know the arcade game has a different ending? <laughs> like the story? Yeah. Because well, in the Genesis mm. one, just the dude turns into like a bird, yeah. right? And then everyone's happy. I mean, you would have to know. You just beat it. <laughs> in the There's not arcade, a lot of story in Altered Beast. In the arcade game, that happens. The dude releases the bird. It's Athena. She's like, oh, thank you, whatever. And then in the arcade, that happens. And then you start getting like various clips of the weird face dude. And then there's like six of them. They're all wearing different colors. And they like have top hats. And then it reveals the whole thing has been a stage play. And all of the enemies, like the little fish people are unzipping themselves to reveal the actors inside. It's a nightmare. This is like Mario 3 was a stage play, yeah, right? Just like Mario 3, yeah. Dan. No one like unzipped, it's not like a Koopa Troopa unzipped at the end of that, though. Like There's like Dennis play. Hopper under there. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. I mean, you can't rise from a grave. That's not real. Mm -mm. That's Hollywood fantasy. Did you ever play the uh, PS2 Altered Beast? I'm morbidly curious about a that. That was the one that only came out in Europe, Europe right? and Japan, I yeah, think. Because yeah. we bit tried to it. look into buying that, and then we found yeah. out, no, that never crossed over here. I yeah. remember it being just some real hot garbage. There was a time when they were doing a lot of like that PS2 era, like let's bring back some 16-bit stuff, but like, you know, like the NARC remake right. and yeah. everything. Yes, yeah. Which that's kind of amazing in its own way. Yeah, if you like songs about weed. So that, that <laughs> NARC came I out. I do. <laughs> uh, Go on. And I recommend the soundtrack to the reboot of NARC, um, which has that smell on it, among other things. <laughs> Didn't um, that Golden Axe? How, how much? Golden Axe, right? Yeah, I think that happened. How much yeah. Bill Bellamy is actually on the soundtrack? None. He's, uh, he's in, in that, right? He's in yeah, game. he's one yeah, of the main he's dudes. He's one of the two characters. But uh, yeah, so that was at a time when someone somehow convinced me that we needed to be reviewing video game soundtracks. <laughs> And it was cool because I got a budget for video game soundtracks, so I was just like ordering CDs from Japan all day long. I was like, yes, send me more Capcom fighting game soundtracks. Let's just stack these up on my desk and that'll be cool. Um, but then there was also like domestic stuff where they're like, well, you need to cover the NARC soundtrack. I'm like, the fuck I do. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was strongly suggested to me that I cover the NARC soundtrack. <laughs> Did you? I think we might, I, yeah. Does that article live somewhere now? It, I don't know. Like a lot of that stuff got lost. There's actually a, a it's awesome, some behind-the-scenes stuff uh, over at GameSpot.com, which is a video game website. Um, they have been restoring a lot of the back catalog videos. There's huh. been and just some engineering efforts to like bring back a lot of the old videos that were no longer working. And so I'm hoping that that's going to lead to a lot more weird, old things that I don't even remember anymore. I'm just <laughs> like, oh, I guess we shot this. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know if any of that soundtrack review stuff is, is online. I don't even remember us doing that. I think I just did it myself because I didn't want to subject anyone else to it. Thank you for that. It was just like, all right, well, I'm just going to write these paragraphs about, like, it's, yeah, I don't know, Street Fighter remixes, these are good. The guy, uh, well, it, 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 actually, that is good because the guy from, from Daytona, the dude that did the Daytona music, did uh, Ryu's theme, and it's an incredible remix <laughs> of that song because uh, he wrote lyrics to it. The NARC soundtrack has some bangers. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, He's found on, it on GameSpot. Yeah, I couldn't find your review. I looked. Okay, yeah. But Curtis Mayfield, including Curtis, uh, Curtis Mayfield's uh, Freddy's Dead, Cypress Hills, Hits from the Bong, uh -huh. DMX's The Professional, okay. uh, Grandmaster Flash's White Lines, yep. Don't Do It, uh, at Leonard Skinner's Rock. That Smell, <laughs> <Yeah>. which is, <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Did, did Final Fight Streetwise have a soundtrack? I mean, every game technically has a well, soundtrack. I mean, but <laughs> that you bought and reviewed. No, I don't think so. I, okay. don't, I don't know that, that, that no one bought anything related to Final Fight Streetwise. Did the Vector Including Man? Final Fight Streetwise. Yeah. Did the Vector Man remake, not remake, but like the PS2 like reboot, did that come out? No. That I remember previews that for happened. that. Yeah, okay, that one never came out. That was a game that like, they were talking about doing it for Dreamcast. Like, it was, there was a lot of stuff where they were like, late Dreamcast, like, oh, we're going to maybe finally do Golden Axe. We're going to do this or that. And like all of it just kind of fell off when the Dreamcast did. But some of that stuck around and snuck out on PS2 later. Uh, but there was, yeah, there was like, I think Vector Man was the one that didn't. And I, maybe Golden Axe didn't happen. I, I think Golden Axe happened. I was going to bring it I up. I think before. it happened. Pretty yeah. sure it happened and was terrible. I wonder if yeah. Vector Man holds up. Vector Man was always bad. Were you a small oh, child when you played it? Oh, there bad. was. <laughs> but he was 3D. There was a wave through the crowd on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Kid Chameleon, now that's a game. Chameleon Twist. Well, yeah, Chameleon. All right, guys, I think we need to close the loop on something we didn't actually address here. You asked Austin, robot animes. Yeah. Yes. We never actually got to that because we went off on some other tangents here. I think you should watch Gundam. 
Mo- I, I want to be clear. Mobile motherfucking suit Gundam. Like, 1979. Yeah, like 0, 0, 7, 009. 0079. You know what they do immediately in that? The anime opens. Half of humans die. Done. Right. That's just Avengers. So, th- so it's basically like, is it lined up at the exact end of Dragon Ball Z? Yes. That happens there, too. Yes. But yeah, everyone that, comes back ooh. always in Dragon Ball. Well, after. That's the, the, when they wish everybody back, that's after all of Gundam happens. Okay. So. Is Gundam the one that Vinny likes? I know he likes yes. Transformers. Does he like both? He likes both. He likes the, Transformers more, which, like, that's fine. And the Transformers have brains and think for themselves. Do the Gundams, are they just like Pacific Rim things? They are, yes, they are like Pacific Rim things. They're different. Yeah. You only need one pilot. Oh, I just felt some people in the audience. I felt their spines turn to glass no, 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 at that listen, one. Listen. <laughs> hmm. Pacific Rim is okay. It's good. It's okay. enjoyable. It's like Gundam. But I didn't see the second one. No it one did. It opens up and it's dope for 10 minutes. You know what the setup is? The setup is on the periphery of people who use robots and fight giant giant monsters are people who don't have shit. And so what they do is they sneak into the where the battles happen and steal shit. They steal parts from broken robots. Okay. They steal like Captain Crunch and beer. Like that right. is straight up the opening of this movie. That's and my then second they, they, favorite ludicrous. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they just go a different direction with it. And I wish they had stayed with that. Yeah. That, um, yeah that. But yeah, Mobile Suit Gundam is really good. It's the 1970s, so the art has a very distinctive yeah, quality. Yeah, that, that's the the vibe I'm mostly looking for when it when I'm like picking anime that I might watch someday is like that old shit. Yeah. Yeah. Anime in the 70s. What do you think? <laughs> the, early, the oldest one I know is Akira, and Akira is like in the 80s, right? The Akira. What? Can you? Did you just say Akira? I watched <laughs> Akira. Akira's great. It's a, it's a Akira's Toyota. really cool. I'm, I'm, selling, I'm selling some airbags out of a 1990 <laughs> Akira legend, if anyone's looking to buy one. I've got a 1979 Akira Tetsuo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they make those in Canada, so it's the. Mm. Ha- tell me everything you know about anime, Dan. What? <laughs> tell me everything you know about anime. Uh, it started with Akira. We got yeah, we got that. And the uh, biggest one now is Dragon Ball Super. The biggest, yeah. Okay. Right? Is that not right? It's big. <laughs> is that not the most popular? I feel like that's the one as an anime. Well, I was gonna say anime layman, like, but people, I guess we're experts. Right. As experts, I can say that in some parts of the world, people took to the streets because yeah. they were so excited. I saw those clips. That's probably the most they popular put Goku anime. In in the the New York Thanksgiving Day Parade. So I guess so. I guess they right. finally yeah. So I I, understand. I think I actually think like My Hero Academia might be oh, the okay. biggest. That's like, still going. One of the biggest ones right now. Okay. Anyway, anime is very old, Dan. Anime means uh, anime. The seventies apparently. Think about. Or earlier, Steve believe it or not. Willy was the first anime. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome to my Kingdom Hearts panel. <laughs> wait. Wait, who, wait, who's the... Who's That's the anime... Tomorrow, 1.30. Who's the anime Mickey Mouse? Is it, it's not Goku. It's Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is the Mickey Mouse of anime. No, but I mean, like, anime anime. Like, Sora. Like, <laughs> who is... Mickey Mouse is an anime, Right. Uh, this is a this this I feel like is a question that has plagued man for generations. <laughs> <laughs> is Wiley e. Coyote anime? I would say he's the most anime. Okay, of American cartoon. Yeah, you know what? Then, then I've definitely always loved anime. <laughs> I think this would you know this was a lot simpler and a lot worse when everyone just called it Japanimation. Yeah, it was a lot easier to categorize. Well, what was was it made in Japan? No. Well then. Uh, there's a there's a thread by this author I like Max Gladstone who yesterday was pointing out the fact that in the 90s and 2000s if you liked anime or Japanimation you didn't like pick a genre because the genre was Japanimation exactly you yeah. watch Sailor Moon that was you the section Ava, of the video store you watch La Blue Girl was, you yeah, watch Ninja was, Scroll yeah, yeah some of those maybe you were too young to watch but you watched I them. watched uh, La Blue Girl Legend of the Overfiend and Ninja Scroll when I was like 16 the or perfect so. age yeah and I was like. Fucking yeah. I remember I discovered anime because when I was in elementary school, I was like in the after school waiting for your parents thing. And so they would just put on movies when you were stuck there. And the guy who ran that thing was weird. Uh, and uh, one day he was like, we're going to watch this uh, Japanese animation. And it was Bubblegum Crisis. Hell yes. I was in fifth grade. Hell yes. Those ladies take off their clothes. All of them. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> They kill some cyborgs. It's great. That guy I, got fired a month later. Mm. <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 Honestly. If you got to go down. Yeah, no, go down with Bubble Game Crisis. It's, uh, uh, that was all right. 
Do, do you, I, so I'm in possession of Bubblegum Crisis. Yeah. You think that's worth watching? Yeah, it's all right. Is it, is, is I haven't it, seen it since I was uh, 10. <laughs> but yeah, it was all right. Is it, is it hot? It, to my mind at that time, sure. All right, great. <laughs> then I'm in. Um, yeah, the, so the thing, so I bought Gundam on Blu-ray, I think, before we even... It was like the first thing you told me after I left. <laughs> like you wanted to fucking twist the knife, Jeff. Yeah. You were like, good luck. Uh, and then like two weeks later, you're like, so I bought all of Gundam on Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun and fun. Um, <laughs> and so I was g g getting all ready to start watching it. And then I started reading up on just the history of it and that series and realized like, oh, there's an episode missing. Yeah. It's and a good episode, too. It's like not, a, there's not, there's nothing... They shouldn't have cut that episode. Yeah, so they cut an episode from, I guess, like just the English release. And even, is it cut out of the Japanese re-releases now? I don't too? think so. But no, you can see it. Well, I can get it to you. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I know a guy who knows a guy yeah, yeah, yeah. who has hey. a computer. Uh, and, and yeah, so there's like one episode that got cut. And it like threw me for some loop of just like, well, I'm only going to watch Gundam once. I'm going to make sure I watch the completest, most best Gundam I could. <laughs> Shit. And that put me off for however many years it's been. I'm just like, I got this Blu-ray sitting here um, that I've yet to start watching. Uh, and then well, we now's the time. So then they, yeah, they put out the, the Dragon Ball Fighters. And then th that was like, yeah, I think Dan and I separately yeah. at, at the same time were like, we should watch Dragon Ball and talk <laughs> about it. <laughs> it's and wild that that game was so good that after fucking 20 years of having a brand about hating anime, you were like... Yeah, fuck it. We should watch this shit. <laughs> well, the weird thing is, like, I didn't even play that much of the game. So I got it, and I started playing it, and just got enough into it to see, like, man, this all seems pretty cool. Like, all the attacks yeah. and the animations and everything. And so then I decided to watch the whole show, and then I could play the game and not get spoiled. Which is not like the game spoils anything. Yeah. But I still, to this day, have well, maybe it spoils played... the part where that guy goes through that mountain. Yes, that I'm... <laughs> every other episode yeah i i played maybe 40 minutes of that game in my life i know it's super duper good but like yeah it, it is most notable to me as like getting me into dragon ball because it looked cool i think the thing that put me over the edge with it was um when i sat down with ben and he was like oh they did this thing and it was this specific oh. thing where like uh uh napa like yes. stops in the air uh and, and that's in the game and i was like that's crazy they would put that in there that seems like something to be a really fucked up thing to have a fighting game character do um, Doesn't it do all of Trunks' like signs and everything too? Yeah, like he does all the gang signs. All yes. The, all that yeah. The the like in the run up to that, as someone who grew up on Dragon Ball Z, as they were linking or uh, like showing off some of the dramatic finishes or climactic finishes or whatever, yeah. I was completely marking out. Like that is it is Dragon Ball, Star Wars, and Gundam are the only things I mark out for, and like I drop the facade completely. I'm screaming. I'm yelling. So like seeing Gohan and Goku do the Father Son Kamehameha in like one of the lead up videos, I was like. Buying this game, let's go! I'm gonna be the best fighter. I played it for like two hours, but yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I, How I have mean, I played more of this game than anyone else at this table? <laughs> like, I really like that game. It's super good, but it did not make me want to watch the show at all. Like, I was just like, no, this is enough. I don't need any of the context. I don't need to know why there are seven fucking Gokus. I just need to know that they are there and they are awesome. That's enough for me. Some of them aren't even Goku, really. Uh, uh, look, if they have the hair, they're a Goku. That is how, that is my stance. That is my belief. This is my centrism. This is how I live. <laughs> There are also some of them that are Gokus that you didn't realize were Gokus. True. Like the, the Secret fusion. Gokus? Yeah. <laughs> Someone read Why did you not call the podcast that? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know yet. They didn't know uh, how else to go. No, it's, you had to watch. Yeah, we, yeah, believe me, a lot of people wanted us to rename it. Yeah, I love yeah. when people say, oh, the Spirit Bomb cast. It's like, you know, 10 episodes before we ever saw a Spirit Bomb. Yeah, Which, like, to be fair, that's a good name for a podcast. I, we had no I, idea I don't like it. I, I, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's too good. It's too, like... <laughs> too on the nose, yeah. too obvious. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think hey. We had some slack conversation back and forth, like Goku puns. That's, yeah, <laughs> trying to find that. No, I guess they, I think they made us oh, yeah. slack down. <laughs> Wait, what? what mm, was there a story there? Why did they make you shut down the anime slack? <laughs> Uh, we were running a rogue slack within the organization, and then at some point... This is true. Yeah, at some point, like, we got, I got an email from IT going, we understand that you're running a separate slack outside of the company's slack. Because they had just moved everybody over. This is exciting shit. Uh, mm -hmm. They had just moved the entire company into one slack, because that's efficient. Um, 
<laughs> this is relevant to me for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get caught? I'm just out of curiosity. No idea. Someone fucking... <laughs> Someone snitched. Snitch. I don't know. Uh, that or they're sniffing network traffic? Oh. I have no idea. Someone fucking snitched out my bootleg slack. Patrick, can you, Patrick, can you look up some VPN shit for me later? Just yeah. for... Thank you. The worst part is that they put us into the company slack, and there's a general pool for the entire company. Uh, and all it is is just an endless series of the most boring reaction gifs you've ever seen in your life. And like within a like within a week, every single employee from our team had like exited that Slack. Uh, it's a horror show. I think we can like DM Steve Colbert though if we want to. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't do that already? No, I should. Yeah, me and Stevie, we talk all the time. Yeah. yeah. Cool. You ask him his favorite Goku. Yeah. Was he, is he loves them all. Weirdly enough, it's Vegeta. Oh. <laughs> mm. Vegeta's not a Goku. <laughs> he's, okay. That's not what Stephen Colbert says. <laughs> he's a, he's a, he is a proud warrior. He is royalty. He is uh, a proud representative of the Saiyan race, which as they continue to double down on Vegeta and the, the, the Saiyan supremacy stuff, got more and more uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> he's the last one, basically. He's the, he's the, yeah. Well, yeah. The other ones don't count. And he's a proud, he's a proud Saiyan prince. Um, Austin, do you know what Broly is? Do you mean mm, it's a movie, right? You mean I know he's the new did Goku. Did you say Burly? No, he said Broly. Broly. He did say, Broly. It. He did okay. say it right. Okay. I think. Well, okay. Did you also just say I hear he's the new Goku? He's like the new tough guy, right? He's yeah, he's the new tough guy. Do you like him? I think people like that movie, well, right? So, like the thing is, the old movie with him, the, the like. So Dragon Ball Z has a bunch of movies. I would actually love for y'all to watch some of those movies. We watched, you saw watch the Trunks one. Yeah. But like the Trunks one is weird because it's trying to fill in this gap. Yeah. A lot of them are like side stories. So you get the like first 20 minutes is they go to the mall and hang out. Yeah. And then some motherfucker you've never heard of but looks like a palette swap Goku shows up. And it's like, I'm here to okay. cause yeah. trouble. It's like, it's like an Ermac Goku. Evil apple or whatever the fuck they do. And then you're like, no, you're not allowed to have the evil apple. And then they fight a bunch. But it's different pairings. Like, you get a lot of, like, Goku and Piccolo teaming up to fight at the same time. Or Gohan and Goku fight. Like, there's stuff that you just don't get in the regular run. Mm -hmm. And so that stuff is actually really fun. It's, like, filler, but it's good. And Brawley started there and sucked. He was miserable. It was just, like, his whole thing was just, like, I'm big and angry. It, and just, seemed, it. it just seemed like someone who watched a bunch of, like, the Dragon Ball like, Z. AMVs of just, like, it's like okay, well, Limp Bizkit's good. Yes. So, yes. Which, we've made a character time, that speaks to that. Right. that. That was the impression I had. of. This oh, sounds like the Dragon Ball character for me. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, you and your silk shirt collection and wall scrolls. I'm rolling. Yeah. You should keep rolling. I will keep rolling. Rolling. But, Rolling. <laughs> Come on. We're talking about wrestling again, or what's... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I mean, it all intersects. Yeah, it does. Uh, Goku is the real American badass. <laughs> <laughs> As it turns out. Uh, well, we get to Biker Broly. You know, that's going to be a dark <laughs> oh. time. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, video games. What? I don't know if we have time oh. for those anymore. Mm. I mean, I got an update. Do you want a video game update? I got a very important one here. Okay, okay let's hear this it. Is, uh, let me just bring this up here. This comes from Sony. Uh, they make the PlayStation. Mm -hmm. uh, online, let me see here. Online services for Drive Club, Drive Club VR, and Drive Club Bikes will shut down on the 31st of March 2020. So we have a year. We got a year to get all of our Drive Club in before they finally shut it down. Great. I'm going to start a Drive Club, and uh, we're going to have a great time with it. That game was not good. No. no. People were, there was a cluster. I mean, there's always a cluster of people. Uh, there always is. Yep. Always. Uh, but there was a cluster of people who seemed to be unwilling to accept the raw fact that that was a bad <laughs> game and that I was the person out there saying, yo, this is a bad game. The most interesting thing about Drive Club was that guy that worked on Drive Club that went on stage and basically said he wanted to fuck a car. Well, <laughs> live your truth, man. Oh, no, I'm not judging. I'm just saying that was the most interesting thing that happened around that game. That's the kind of, kind of club I would try to join. Honestly, yeah. You know? Some real fucking crash J.G. Ballard type shit. Yeah. It's just like we just get together in a second floor of a parking garage at three in the morning and we drift and we fuck these cars. Yeah. In that order. Yeah. Yeah, uh, of you, course. Get them warmed up. First. You got to mm -hmm. heat up these pipes. Is <laughs> <laughs> a new t-shirt? You got to <laughs> uh, Pretty excited. A store.giantbomb.com. Did they shut down the Warhawk servers? Yeah. Ah, that's a shame. That game was good. Yeah, yeah, that game was Warhawk. One yeah. guy, the new Warhawk. Yeah, the old Warhawk was pretty good too. Yeah, yeah. it was single At track. FMV. Single track was great. Yeah, 
Yeah. Um, Were you a Jet Moto guy? No, I like Jet Moto in theory. Yes. And then you play it and you go like, I, I see why people would be way into this, and I just kind of never really, I just kind of stuck with Wipeout, I think. There, there were good ideas, like the thing where you, you grapple, grapple the thing. Grapple, drift yeah. around corners and stuff like that. Like, there really hasn't been, I get why people are like, man, they need to make a new Jet Moto, because there's kind of nothing like that. It's kind of uh, like a Wave Race type thing. Like, they haven't done Wave Race since, what, GameCube? Yeah. Yeah. You think they'll do a new Wave Race, like a Switch Race? Is it time? Uh, maybe it is. Yeah. Or, like, when was the last F-Zero? Was that, that was GameCube as well, right? Yeah, I guess so. Unless there was... No, that was it. G GX was the last one, right? I guess I think so. I guess so. Yeah. Huh. That wouldn't surprise me. Because they yeah. keep, like, the characters alive and stuff in Smash and all that. Right. Yeah. But I, I just, I don't know. Like, that, that seems like the sort of thing that, like, they don't make themselves anymore. Like, they just, you know, like, F-Zero GX, I think, wasn't even them. Like, they, then they, was that? I don't know who made that. It was yeah. Sega. Yeah, so it was some Sega division. It's a can hard I, game. Can I ask kind of, like, a, the existential terror video game nightmare question? Yeah. So I think this is the place for that. Yeah, yeah, good. Well, it's like it's connected to Drive Club. Because Drive Club, they showed off Drive Club, and I think all of us were like, oh, yeah, cool, and like a mm. car game. Like, yeah, I want to fuck those cars, totally. Right, of course, yeah. So, th but now, when I think about like, the future of video games, I can't imagine ever seeing that presentation for, drive, for a Drive Club type game. Be like, wow, yeah, that, yeah, cool, that's the future of video games, ever, ever again in my life. And it's not because I don't like cars. Like, I, I like Forza Horizon 4 a lot. But I, even with that, when they showed that, I was like, oh, yeah, it's one, okay, it's one of these. And, like, changing that name wouldn't have gotten me more excited. Maybe this is a me problem. Maybe I'm <laughs> yeah. just done. But I'm curious, like, we are looking at streaming. We're looking at lots of games as services. Like, what do you think is the next thing where you're like, that looks dope? Can you even imagine what the, that might be? Because, like, part of me is like, oh, Stadia might be that when, when they were about to announce it. And I watched it, and I was like, uh. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. There was the, that was the most, like, dread-filled moment I've yeah. heard about video games in a very long time. There was The Stadia stuff was really creepy in a way. Really? Yeah. Huh. I, I think, like, if it works, I think that, that like, totally. I would love that yeah. future. It's like, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that I hate the idea of it even. It was just, like... It was this moment of like you're looking at it and you go, okay, this is how it happens next. Like this is where it goes. And then there was some part of me that was like, this is how it ends. No more. What, what do you think the down? Like, is it from? The, I know you like to collect things and everything. Is is some of it tied to that, or like it's what even, rubs you the wrong way about not it? Not even the collection stuff, because honestly, I would love to get rid of like a <laughs> large percentage of the stuff I have. Oh come on, it's a museum quality collection. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when was the last time you held a gun con? <laughs> uh, it was last month. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, you I should know to, better than to ask I, him I, things I, like I, that. I, I just wanted I to confirm. Two, I was dual wielding gun cons. <laughs> I have black ones because I imported them from Ooh, Japan. Oh, wow. And I was like, I need black gun cons, and I need two of them, obviously. <laughs> Twenty years ago, you were importing gun cons. Now you're importing nendroids. <laughs> I think this is probably like kind of a, a yeah. line there. But I think to, to answer your question, I, I think like the. The tech end of Stadia is really exciting. The idea of just like, hey, what if you could have something that approached, you know, a, a much more unlimited amount of resources to make a game? And so that's the sort of stuff that when it, like, it, it's, it's not never a car game. It's never, right. the, the, the tires are round. Right. They're not going to get any more round. You know, like, oh, this is at 8K instead of 4K. And you're like, okay, yeah, that's sharper. But these cars look like fucking cars already. I want to fuck these cars. We know that. <laughs> Um, we all agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and so yeah, I think the days of the car game as the like check out our new tech thing like kind of have to be over in a way, um, unless they can somehow get like just more photorealistic. And I I don't know. That's that's I mean, maybe right. Yeah, maybe they maybe, get it to where it's maybe. like literally like looking at video. We're like right. fuck. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't. It's hard to imagine. But yeah. that's the thing we're walking into this generation, right? Like I, at least yeah, for yeah. me, it is very much like we are walking into this generation because it's been seven years. You know, it's like the time is yeah. just, hey, this is the time when we cycle out hardware. But I haven't gotten this sense, and I, it, by all means, people in the room disagree with me if I'm wrong here, but I haven't gotten the sense that people are, like, tired of this hardware. I, I think a big part of it is because of, like, the Pro and the X and everything. Like, I feel like it would start feeling older if we didn't have those incremental upgrades. Right. It just made things weird, and then, you know, NVIDIA's big thing with the ray tracing stuff just doesn't necessarily seem like the immediate future in some ways. So I think there's just a lot of stuff up in the air, and then you look at the streaming stuff and go, oh. So I think, to actually answer your question, I think the thing that would be impressive to me would be something that is at a scope or a scale yeah. that you definitely couldn't do if you were, like, if you had an Xbox hooked up to a TV, hooked up to your internet. 
Uh, it's the, it becomes the thing of just like, oh, because this is all on some rack mount thing, it's a 10,000. It's like an MMO the way that like you initially envisioned them, of everyone all in the same world at the same time, no server queues or any of that. It's just like, here's all of these people right here. You're not logging into World of Warcraft and then picking a server. You're just all there. Uh, Waiting in line for a boss. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. Um, that's the thing, though, right? It's like, even that stuff, it's like, you gotta get, you gotta have, like, good fucking ideas to actually take advantage of some of that stuff. Right. I kind of don't want a 10,000-person battle royale or whatever, right? Like, Yeah, but, like, someone should make one just, just so you to can see. try it and go, huh. Yeah. They did, yeah, and it's called Mag. Well, yeah, Mag, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> all right, here's, a, here, I'm gonna cycle it all back, though. Mm -hmm. Austin, I know you said that, Maybe it's just not that kind of thing anymore. Nothing yeah. could really like excite you the way that that drive clubs, very horny cars did. Uh -huh. But let me just let me, let me present to you my idea for the game that's gonna it's gonna salvage this generation. It's gonna make everything good. Yeah, Gundam Club. Gundam Club, I'm in. The, I'm all the way. The in. most fuckable Gundams you've ever seen. Finally, the highest quality. Yes, master grade. Yes. You know what I mean. Yes. So. Yeah. Yeah, but like at the same time, like you know, that that's the, the, the a lot of the things that you think about, like oh, what if they can make these games at a larger scope and scale and bring all these players together and fuck all these Gundams? Like I just I just thought it was a good idea. It is. It is. Yeah, it's a good idea. Uh, that like where they've gotten to with a lot of that stuff is fine. Like you look at Destiny and you look at it and go, it's a it's technically like a four player game or six. Um, you know, if you're raiding or I guess like eight or ten or in if you're playing competitive multiplayer. And that's fine. You don't necessarily need to run into a billion other players out in the world to make it feel like a living game. They've just they've found solutions that work around that. So in some ways, I feel like a lot of my ideas for like, oh, with this unlimited space and, and power, what could you do? A lot of it feels like really like making good on really old ideas yeah. that people have solved in different ways. And I, so I, it's it's strange. I keep getting impressed by how The Division is doing that stuff. And I, maybe this is old because I didn't really play the first one. But in two, I think it is really cool how somewhat seamlessly you can go into the dark zones and stuff. And it's this type of multiplayer interaction. Yeah. But in the, the general world, this is how it is. Or you can shoot up a player and call people. And it's so seamless, like co-op stuff. Like It all just yeah. kind of works in the way that I wanted it to. Yeah, and I think with the Division 1, the thing I ran into was, like, you never, and, and Division 2 does this as, as well, but, like, when you're out in the world, you never run into another human by yeah. chance. And that was the thing that, like, the promise of an online game meant, like, I'm doing a thing, and this dude's here doing something else, and suddenly we're, like, working together and doing a thing, and then, like, I wave at him, and we go off our separate ways because we murdered all of these guys. Where did you get that gun? Yeah. I think that's what they were trying to sell with Destiny. And, like, Destiny does some of that stuff with, like, public events and stuff, but right. not quite but not the way. Quite. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. And, and I think that's the thing is, like, you know, if you just said, like, you know, it's like the No Man's Sky problem. Like, as they work to make No Man's Sky some bigger online game, it's like, that's a huge universe. Like, you're still going to have to, like, funnel players together and give them ways to connect and have it be meaningful and relevant and stuff, as opposed to just, like, I flew past a ship and maybe that's a person. Like, that's not uh, cool enough anymore. Like, th when we thought about connected worlds and online games and all that stuff, you're like, that's a person. Like, I'm playing Planet Side, and all these people are people. They're people. Uh, they're fucking me up because I'm yeah, terrible I mean, at Planet no, Side. Well, yeah. So, I, like, the No Man's Sky example is really good because they put out that update with, like, a lot with the multiplayer, and the one night someone joined my game, and it was, like, someone I knew, but I wasn't tight with, and we didn't plan it, and they came down to my planet, and they saw my shit and, like, waved at me. Blew my fucking mind. Yeah. Like, I, as if it was the first time any, I've ever played a game with another person. I was like, this is my base. I built this base. I'm really proud of this base. And they were like, thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you know what might still have done that the best is Journey. Like, yeah. Yeah. Journey kind of nailed that. Like, when you do just kind of run into someone, it's like, oh, I just, uh, surprised. I played the whole game with this person I don't know, and we didn't talk at all. Like, I, I think that really nailed it. And that was, what, 10 years ago at this point almost? Yeah, yeah. And that's, you know, two people. And d does that design benefit from suddenly, like, what if it was 10,000 people? Like, no. Uh, but you you could theoretically build other games that are you know that try to do something like that at it's, a larger scale. It's novel stuff like like what Dark Souls did and everything. Like yeah. that is a very novel way to bring in like a multiplayer element to what is ostensibly a single player game. Right. Yeah. And I I the think the thing I always used to think about was you know as as internet as the internet became more of a thing for games, um, was like man one day they're gonna do an online Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> And then I like would sit there and speak. Yeah, my one head day we're gonna do an online Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and the, the thing they did is like not at all what I would want. No, out of nope. Grand Theft Auto. 
as maybe we've been playing it for the last what, feel, what six years now. Let's just let's yeah. just say yeah, maybe. <laughs> what if? Because in my mind, and, and honestly, like APB, the original vision for that was almost a little closer to it. But boy, that is. Yeah. But well, it was, people do do the thing that you want. It's just they do it in role play servers, right? Where and someone I, is like, "I'm gonna pretend to be a cop for six hours." And that's the thing is like, it has to be like someone has to be the cops. Yeah. And not me. And no one right. wants to be the cops. Yes. <laughs> and then, so the thing I hit upon eventually was like, they almost need to build something that is like the Matrix in that like the AI is gonna respond with a bunch of cops, but you're paying a bunch of mods to sit in some bunker somewhere, and they can just become those cops when they need to. And be like, some of these are going to be people, and all they do is play this game. So at so, some point, they're going to, like, warp into that cop body, and you're not going to know it. They're just going to start moving a little more realistic. You go, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Operator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that it, sounds good. Like, that was always the vision I had for, like, what an online GTA would be. Because, yeah. You Did you fuck around with Matrix Online ever? Because it was that, and it was the best. It yeah. was really, like, I played hundreds of hours in Matrix Online, seeing an agent who was a person is the, was the coolest thing that ever happened to me. In a game. Yeah, and, and like I, I played probably only 30 hours of it uh, because at some point it was like, I can't do this. Did you ever play the counter ops mode in Perfect Dark? Yeah. That's kind of that, right? Yeah, pretty much. You're warping into the bodies and stopping yeah, people? Sure. Yeah, sure. It's, it's pretty similar. To you just have a desk in front of a door? Yeah. Well, I, yeah. 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 Well, counter ops uh, mode. On that note. On that note, <laughs> we want to thank everyone for coming out. <laughs> uh, take care of yourselves out there. Uh, thanks for coming through. Thanks to Austin Walker. Thank you. Uh, tomorrow, uh, waypoint.zone. Waypoint.zone. Tomorrow, 1.30 in the Bumblebee Theater. Jeez. Dragonfly Theater, apparently. We'll be talking about Kingdom Hearts and getting drunk in Boston. Come through. Are you wait? Are you gonna get drunk in Boston and then talk about Kingdom Hearts? Maybe. We always got drunk right. before we did that podcast. Then so. maybe I will come through. Okay. It's the only Walk way to Kingdom experience Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Yes. All right, everybody, have a great night. We'll see you.